The doctor is in. Last week, I had the pleasure of listening in on a Zoom call from Lawrence Yoon, the chief economist at the National Association of Realtors. Uh, Clark County Association of Realtors was wonderful enough to open this up to us all. Uh, and most of the people that I know took an opportunity uh, to take a listen because we know that uh, experts, when they speak, um, it's usually a good idea to listen. Uh, and what the expert said, essentially, uh, given um, our wonderful outlook in Clark County, uh, a little bit above national average as far as recovery, as far as uh, pre-recovery, uh, as well, um, you know, uh, there is a wide breadth, right, from here to Alabama, uh, if we're looking at the whole nation. Uh, and uh, in our area, uh, we are looking above average. And um, that is the quick overview uh, economically. Um, but as we get into the nitty gritty of what's happening uh, post-pandemic, um, mid-pandemic, um, as things start to open up, uh, we're seeing a rise in inventory. We're seeing um, properties come out onto the market. Um, one of the things that's going to be happening next year is um, the foreclosure uh, will become real. So we'll see if that has anything to do with the market at all. Um, one of the things that we're also looking for as the new year comes up is uh, a raise in interest rates. We're down around three. Uh, to 3.7 right now. Um, and a couple factors will be, one, the feds will uh, raise them, and two, um, there'll be a uh, Freddie Mae and Sally Mae and Freddie Mac uh, release of uh, mortgage bonds onto the market, and uh, whether China buys those, whether the University of Portland, yeah, well, whatever, the Union Hall down in... Um, Bakersfield, California, what have you, whomever buys these uh, mortgages, once they are put out of the market, those rates are going to raise as well. So um, that has a uh, effect on the market, will have effect on the market. Um, so as the pandemic starts to ease, um, and historically in pandemics, in um, uh, the Great Recession, and before that, the Great Depression, uh, what we see is a drop in um, population um, uh, people not wanting to procreate as well as death rates are going up. So uh, this is proven time and time again um, in and throughout history. That is uh, when pandemics hit, uh, worker shortages, pipeline issues become a problem. Um, we've had a world economy for thousands of years. Don't let anyone fool you. It's not something new. Um, and how this uh, gets back and going is going to be a little rocky, as we all well know. And wages will go up. Uh, and uh, there will be some issues in supply chain. As these even out uh, and as houses get built, um, we find that inventory um, brings prices to uh, not a precipitous uh, increase, but a uh, slow and steady um, as we go. And as we see people moving into, expanding into different homes, bigger homes, multifamily homes, living in different situations now that they don't have to necessarily report to work every day, uh, we're going to see a, and as we've seen, um, decline in commercial real estate and people really looking to invest in real estate. And um, as inflation is rising, um, and one of the things that we're looking at is the Fed trying to slow that in, in, uh, inflation, it's real. And so one of the real ways that you can hedge your bet in times of inflation is to buy real estate. Uh, and we're seeing a, a pretty large transfer over of people getting out of managing and buying multifamily units um, into a new set of buyers. Uh, so uh, all these things in real estate, uh, I, naturally, I can help you with. Uh, just DM me, call me wherever you're at. Um, but there are so many opportunities coming up in this market of change, as historically we all know. Um, and this, this is an opportunity, um, and as all markets are. Uh, and uh, they don't work unless you're in them. And getting in them, you gotta make sure that uh, you've got your rent um, up to date. 
uh, they'll be checking that when you get into your uh, mortgage and as people start to default uh, that'll become a real news story coming up in the new year um, so as Lawrence has painted this picture this is what Lawrence is seeing out here and Dr. Yoon, Lawrence Dr. Yoon, um, the chief economist for the National Association of Realtors, uh, is optimistic as most of us are if you have been involved in reading of history or know how these things tend to pan, down, uh, pan out in pandemics. A uh, pun, whatever, you make your decision whether it floated up or whether it came naturally. Uh, you know, however the case may be, what we're looking at in the new year is a strong economy, a strong um, real estate driven economy too, because it's one of the things that um, is moving and is, really the, is the engine. Um, as we correct some other things in the economy, the tech sector, uh, or as we see corrections made in there, uh, because it is market driven, everything, don't, uh, don't uh, snooze on that. Um, we'll see how that uh, plays out. So uh, big things to remember is take care of getting your um, financial house in order, as always, um, and do the things that uh, you need to do to make sure you're taking care of your future. Uh, and uh, those are the brief synopsis of um, Lawrence Yoon um, talking to the Clark County Association of Realtors, one of which I am. Uh, and uh, that's my message to you today uh, in the economy uh, and real estate coming up in uh, the end of the third quarter going into the fourth quarter. Happy the rest of the 2021 and hope you're ready for 2022. I certainly am. Call me when you need me.